And gameplay is what I will give you. Hello, everybody. We are recording. We are streaming. We are live. Hello, birdie. Oh boy, we gotta change the head again. We're gonna go do the best Mother's Day present ever. Glowy pants? Yeah, that one looks better. Um, yeah! <clears throat> yeah. Alright, we're gonna do the best Mother's Day's present ever, and then we are going to go do the Thanksgiving the DLC. The is west of the Highlands. If you're looking for the Slab King, that's where he'll be. Now be careful, though. He kind of lost him after Hyperion killed his dog. Oh no, Hyperion killed his puppy. Also, if you find all five of these wind socks, you get badass. Five, right? Eight. I lied. But it's okay. We have to kill minions. Minion. Thankfully, I'm stronger than these minions. Probably also stronger than Henry as well. I can't hear you! Kill the little man! Get out, get out, get out! Seriously? <clears throat> Yesterday, when I wanted to do three in a row, I couldn't. Today, when I actually want to kill things, I can do three in a row very easily. <laughs> Fucking game. Alright, Henry. Juan v. Juan v. Kind, kind, kind! Kill, kill, kill! Well, that was difficult. <laughs> oh, we got a fist. Bro fists. Oh, it's not even that good. Well, that sucks. I was hoping for a better one. Ow. Quiet! Ow. Yeah. At least you're shitting in your box, Lucius. Yeah, I called you out on the internet. You shit next to your litter box. Asshole. <coughs> oh well. Anyway, Thanksgiving DLC now. Gluttony Gulch. Welcome to the Torn Corporation's Hunger for Violence Extravaganza! Hi, Torn. We're gonna watch the Ball Hunter take on the ravenous Waddle Cobbler! He likes to shout. He's very excited. <laughs> if you got the money, I'll save your gold earned life. Strip the flesh. Salt the wound. Tear the bad guys a new one, huh? Good luck. Pie? I can't hear you! I just wanted to cut the pie, and I hit myself in the face. But first, I'm interviewing the only tour contestant to survive a showdown with the cobbler! Question time! How are you doing? What's your favorite color? Did you ever see that one movie about the dog who played basketball? Where did you have your first kiss? Did you ever see the sequel to the dog basketball movie where the dog went to space? And if so, which of the two do you prefer? Awesome! Another question. How do you feel about my facial hair? Thank you! How do you feel about the Vault Hunter's chances against the ravenous Waddle Goblin? Will they win? He seems Will enthusiastic. They die? Your thoughts! <laughs> you don't sound competent! Further questions! Who is the most attractive person on Pandora? <laughs> That's an awful thing to say! Ellie's like a tent! Trans 
That's a lot of blood. Hey! Get over here so I can whisper some things to you and secret! Okay. That uh real talk. The goblin fight is rigged. The torn board of directors. The hair looks bad on him. So we need all the contestants to get us a bunch of hits on the echo net. But I don't want you to die, because you're cool. And oh crap, I'm not whispering anymore, my bad! You gotta get in the kill. Kill everybody who can poison the cobbler's clue. Watch the poison take some back. You can kill him. Also, I want him dead so I can eat him. He looks delicious. He looks delicious. can kill them. Or, I can kill myself by jumping in. Ooh, they're level 27. They're my level? Actual challengers! Torgo vision. There's some nice Easter egg names in here, too. Tell me if you recognize them when they show up. You should be able to recognize them. I'd be very disappointed if you didn't. So don't disappoint me. <laughs> chef Gouda Ramsey. That's a Gouda chef. Anton Smith here, president of the Torg Corporation. You do well to ignore Torg's instructions. With the chef's dead, we can prepare our own meal for the gobbler! Get to the freezer! So who caught the first Easter egg in that last room? doesn't count. You have to actually say it. We gotta choose some meat for the gobbler's meal. Turn on the tastiest looking scat corpses. This is totally gonna get me fired and I don't care. I'm out of candy. I was tempted to grab two bags this time, but I didn't. Keep grabbing that food. What about that chef? Nope. Incorrecto. Yes. Gouda Ramsey. It's both a cheese name and a chef's name. Disappointed. I don't know what joke you made. Planning, but I don't like it. Tribute, get the vault hunter out of the 
out my kitchen. Meat. Tim's on there, Chris. Yeah. I can't hear you! I hate me! No, no, no! I killed myself. And I killed him. Take it. Violence doesn't solve anything, except for all the things that it does. I mean, he's not wrong. Violence does solve all of the, does not solve everything, except for when it does, and then it solves everything. out of my face, paparazzi. Open Pandora's boxes. Now to grind up the meat. Get to the kitchen. <laughs> Ford, as president, I demand to know why the hell the vault hunter is running around backstage. Just trying to mix things up. Your job is not to mix things up. Your job is to flex your muscles and do air guitar solos, idiot. Words can hurt! <laughs> Ooh, that felt good. That was the burp I needed. Thank you, stomach. All that delicious meat. Ooh, delicious. We're nearly done preparing the gobbler's meal. With the meat prepared, we only need one more ingredient. Deadly poison. Head to the stabber jabber nests. Now this you'll only know if you've actually seen the movie. So we'll play that game again of Do You Know This Reference? You know you're following an idiot, yes? Thor created his explosive gun tech, then sold it to us for $12 and a high five. Twelve dollars for PR reasons. And a high you five. Both outlived your usefulness. Tribute, kill. <laughs> ah, slice your eyelids so you can watch the end. When you use a door, I blow it the f up. I blow it the fuck up. <laughs> There's one over there. In case you don't have one. Alright, now slap the chatter. So yeah, it's the Sabber Jabbers, by the way, that is the reference. So if you recognize it, ten points. If you don't, then that's just sad. <coughs> Fucking A. This is gonna be difficult. There we go. Tanis told me a single slack jabber clip would be enough to kill a monster the size of a planet. So get a few more! 
From a not fairly recent movie, but it is from a movie in recent history. Recent history. Uh, within the last, I don't know. It wasn't in the original book either. Yes. I hate this stabber jabber section. It's so annoying. The answer, by the way, was, uh, The Hunger Games. Stabber Jabbers, a.k.a. the, uh, uh, the wasps that essentially came up and attacked everybody. Tracker Jackers, yeah! You say it after I get the answer. But yes, Tracker Jackers. Now add the poison glands to the marination vat. Ooh, look, eyeballs. Oh, I have to go up there. Okay, fine. Nobody wins then. Hit that button to marinate the f out of that meal. <clears throat> The conveyor of cookery. That's it. You've gone off script one too many times, Torg. Today's meal is canceled. Chef, shut down that oven. We can't stop now. Protect the oven. I swear by my abdominal muscles, I will eat the ravenous waddle gobbler. Well, obviously. That's why I didn't say it until I was giving you the answer. Yes, 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 yes. Good for me for me. I think there's one more reference that should show up. Chef Bork Bork! Ten points if you know who Chef Bork Bork is. Explosions of life!
Chef Borkbork. He is the Swedish chef from, uh... From, uh... The Muppets. So you could kill him. After dozens of failed attempts by other contestants, you were supposed to finally kill it on camera while wielding our most expensive guns. You would have looked like a hero. Why be a hero when you can eat one? Yeah. You are the dumbest person in the world. Also, we're still in the Hunger Games. I paid several other contestants to kill you if the gobbler can't fault hunter. You and Targ will pay for your idiocy. Here comes the ravenous Waddle Gobbler! We've replaced this creature's normal food with poison! Let's see if he notices! <laughs> he took the bait! Now just don't die until the poison takes effect! The actually invincible. Waddle Gobbler! <laughs> Never stop the killing! Never! <laughs> No, you idiotic mercs! I'll oh, shoot the gobbler! Shoot the vault hunter! The poison's working! It's working! The gobbler is killable! Let that taste be In the butthole! Begin. Time's up! <laughs> I saw the light! This is your last chance, Lord! Call this off, or you're out of the car! I'm gonna have black pouring! Out of this thing! Napkins may or may not be involved! The pain goes here! You just disobeyed. A direct order from your president, Tor. You're dead. I am so scared! I know you can't tell because the tone of my voice, but that was sarcastic! Anyway, come on back whenever, Vault Hunter! You probably can't tell from the tone of my voice! <laughs> I'll bathe in the meat chunks! Bathe in the meat chunks! Take the plunge? That looks like a trap! Take the plung! The plung, guys! Take the plung! The plinga plinga plunga! One, two, three, four. I d Get the fuck out of my face! I believe several of those shotguns were better than mine. Now, if you'll excuse me. That one's a lot better. Nope, just that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we did. Could you imagine standing like that? Like, he stands like an anime character. Like, what the fuck, Torg? That's gotta hurt. Yeah, we'll go listen to Grandma's story in a minute. Medley, 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 meow. Almost dead? I can fix that. I just killed him. Who's excited for Grandma's story? Oh man, it's the Vault Hunter! You are awesome! Didn't you fight Terramorphus? 
I fought a big creature like that once. He was a big whale squid with a hundred tentacles. You ever fought anything with tentacles? Oh, of course you have. Terramorphous had tentacles. How silly of me. Now, where was I? I'm so sorry. All right, the whale creature. His name was Blowhall the Apocalypse. I called him the Apocalypse for short. And he attacked my hometown of Tsunami's Edge when I was but a little girl. You ever been to Tsunami's Edge? Number great one, time, nice Grandma. Beaches, great food, and the cost oh, of living is just so low. Even being a single grandmother and working part-time at a scat meat processing factory, I was still able to provide for little Mr. Torg. We may not have been able to afford the finer things in life, like food, but we got by. After all, Mr. Torg and I didn't have anything but one another after that horrible gas leak blew up the iridium mine killing my son and his lovely wife. From that day onward, my little Mr. Torg vowed to conquer explosions themselves in an effort to avenge his fallen parents, and... Ah, oh man, I forgot what I was talking about. Where was... All oh, right, the blowhole, the apocalypse! So anyway, I was wrestling blowhole to the ground, and I have my bicep curled around his blue... Look at her face. Sorry, I meant to say blubbery. I've got blueberries on the brain, I guess. I grow them in my backyard. Mr. Torg helped me plant them. Thanks again for that, grandson. I love you, Grandma! Anyway, I have my bicep around his blubbery throat, and Mr. Torg starts crying because he really likes whale squids, and he doesn't want to see me hurt one. They are the princes of the ocean! So I let the whale go after giving it a punch in the eyeball so he'll remember me, and it swam away into the ocean. And then I had Mr. Torg drive me to the ice cream parlor. He got me Rocky Road, because Rocky Road's my favorite. I'm extremely partial to the way the marshmallows act like... What's your guys' favorite ice cream? Go! I miss the battleground of chocolate. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Is it pistachio? I bet it's pistachio. Oh, that reminds me! You'll never guess who I saw today! Pistachio the Amazing! He's a magician who studied under Crazy Earl, so he's got that weird mustache, you know, but I saw him from where? a Rackheim disappear. A whole Rackheim! I said to Mr. Torg, I said, Mr. Torg, wasn't that amazing? And he said, yes, it was, Grandma. Didn't you Nipple say that? Salads. You remember saying that? Nipple I salads. remember, Nipple Grandma! Salads. Our character just shouted nipple salads. And we stood in line and got his autograph, ah. and I thought I had it somewhere. I else, love fish food from Ben and Jerry's. I really ought to go up there and clean it Delicious. out these days. I have so many little keepsakes up there. Are you... You're paying attention, right? Of course, Grandma. Hey, what's my favorite flavor of ice cream? Who remembers her favorite flavor? So you are listening, how wonderful. You're an even better listener than my old pet rack, Bisto. Bisto was such a sweetie. You ever had a pet rack? If you can tame them, they are the sweetest pet you'll ever have. He used to just sit on my shoulder and bite chunks of flesh out of my neck to pass the time. I still remember the way he used to tweet. He went, tweet, tweet. <laughs> it was so cute. I had a conversation with him once. I said, Mr. Beasto, he liked being called Mr. Beasto. It made him feel like an aristocrat. I said, Mr. Beasto, you're looking very cute today. And he said, oh, thank you. That's so nice. He tweeted in a way that made me know that's how he felt. And then he lowered his little head like he was taking a bow. It was adorable. Beasto was my third pet rack. First, I had Woody. He got hit by a train. Then I had Anita. She got shot up trying to take vengeance on the train that killed Woody. And then I found Beasto making little poops on the windmill outside our house. After Mr. Torg and I wrestled her to the ground, I did a flying pile driver off a nearby tower tree. Got a flying pile driver. him down. We brought him in and fed him some skag steaks until he decided he loved us. I still miss Beasto sometimes. He just died of old age. Rack don't live much longer than a few years, but I treasured the time we had together. Oh, poor Mr. Tor. When Beasto died, he cried for a week. The kids made fun of him in school, but I told him not to pay them in. Being in touch with your emotions is not a character flaw! That's right, High Five. Is something wrong? You look confused, Vault Hunter. Oh, you probably haven't heard anyone call Mr. Torg High Five before. The world may know him as Mr. Torg, but the Flexingtons always refer to him using his middle name. 
It's a Flexington family tradition. Torx. Use your grandfather or grandmother. Torx, high five Flexington. And my husband, high five Flexington, God rest his soul, was the best grandfather Mr. Torx could have asked for before he passed. He taught Mr. Torx dang near everything he knew about firearms. Without high five teachings, I don't think the Torx Corporation would exist at all. Gosh, I still remember the first gun Mr. Torg tried to make after his parents died. A Jacob shotgun with a stick of dynamite attached to the barrel. Torg nearly blew his face off, but he got up, dusted his mustache off, and swore that by the time he reached the age of 11, he would make a gun that fired explosions without killing the operator. And by golly, he did! <laughs> it took a couple of dozen prototypes before he got the right combination of gun parts and explosives, right? But once he did, woo-wee! <laughs> I'll never forget the plume of smoke that used to be in my neighbor's homestead. They were jerks, though, so it's okay. <laughs> Gosh, I've been talking your ear off for some time, haven't I? It's so kind of you to listen for this long. I've taken up too much of your time already. Please, don't feel like you have to stick around any longer. Okay, bye. As a matter of fact, take this for giving this old woman some company. She gave us one dollar. God, I'll try not to spend it all in one place. And here's a shiny dollar for you. After all, you buy so much with the dollar back in my day. Even more attractive than Mr. Torque said you were. Oh. I've got another story for you, but I'd like to tell it to all of your friends at once. An old lady like me has to say it twice, you know. Oh, you still want to talk with me? How incredibly sweet of you. Say, you'll never guess who I saw today. Captain Scarlet. She was robbing my retirement home with a few other brigands, and I recognized her from her wanted poster, and I said, Oh, hey, you fought the Vault Hunter, didn't you? And she bowed all elegantly and said something like, Indeed, I did, madam. And said that you were really good at fighting, and that you beat her fair and square. She didn't seem to harbor much of a grudge about it. Nice girl. You should think about meeting up with her again if you're not shacked up with anybody, you know? I mean, of course, you probably are. <laughs> Gorgeous hunk of a vault hunter like you. I bet you're beating away suitors left and right. Look, you're blushing. Oh, I could just eat you up. <laughs> Mr. Torg was so scared of trying to get a date for such a long time. He used to go to parties in high school and just stand in the back without talking to anybody. I am an introvert! I tried to tell him, I said, don't worry about chasing love. If you chase your dreams, then love will follow. See, that's the thing people don't get. You watch Echo films and they're just awful. They teach you that the only I wish I could build a dream house for that much. I could actually afford that right now. Over until they decide they like you. In reality, you know when you like someone almost immediately. You can't really convince somebody to fall in love with you. You just look like a stalker. But if you do things that you're interested in, like making guns that explode or killing mercenaries, then people will see that confidence and skill you have, and they'll be attracted to it. There's always a fine line between that kind of confidence and narcissism. I love how I can walk away and come back and I miss nothing. Who wants to be famous. I remember when Mr. Torg first sold his weapons tech to that board of directors, he was pretty egocentric for a while. Taking pictures of himself and posting them to the Echo Net all the time. Trying to hobnob with every celebrity that used his weapons. He came back home one day with a supermodel under each arm, and I said, Mr. Torg, what are you doing? You've lost sight of who you are. It's been weeks since you actually created a new gun, I said. And it was true. He'd been more obsessed with being well known for doing something great than with actually doing something great. It was a dark point in my life. Thankfully, Hi Five listened to me and got to work on what would eventually become the Kerblaster. You a fan of the Kerblaster? That was always my favorite. That and the Flacker, which I know a lot of people hate. But there's more to combat than just brute efficiency in this old lady's eyes. Style counts for something. And there's nothing quite like filling the air with tiny little explosions. It's like a fireworks show, except the deaths aren't as sad and unexpected. Actually, that reminds me, now that you're here, I wanted to throw some ideas at you for feedback. I'm a playwright in my spare time, and I'm trying to write a story about an up-and-coming tournament fighter who tries to find love in a gladiatorial arena. And I figure you've got a lot of experience, so your feedback would really be valuable. So the play is called 
broken hearts and broken necks. Scene one. Fade in on an arena just after a battle. Body parts litter the stage. A lone warrior stands in the middle of the stage. A spotlight illuminating her blood-stained armor. She's there, holding her sword triumphantly aloft. Did she get away? Falco. Is there no warrior who can challenge me? Must I be destined to spend my life as the Sorry, I zoned out there for a bit. I'm back. most invincible warrior this galaxy has seen? For it happens every time she just starts talking. I just start going. From stage left, a janitor with a heavy heart and an even heavier conscience. He begins sweeping the body parts into a... I've also seen this about 20 times. Until melancholy overtakes He drops his push broom to the floor and falls to his knees. Before delivering a heart wrenching soliloquy, the blood cannot be washed away. Not before and not now. Even as I attempt to escape the past, which haunts me still. Must I live forever as a fraud, sweeping up the trash of others to hide my shame and avoid my pursuers? Must I forever remain on the periphery of joyful combat, ever watchful but never participating? Such a heart-wrenching uh, screenplay. I heard a noise and thought it worth investigating. Oh, great Valkyrie, twas nothing but the wails of those souls you released from their bodies tonight. Souls that wail in agony as they fly upward to Valhalla. Fools, what have they to wail about? Their agonies are over, ended at the point of my sword. Mine, however, have only yet begun, for it is lonely at the top, and an unchallenged life is a boring one. No doubt, if only I were able to tell her my true identity, I would give her a light she would not soon forget. Back to that thing. Yes, ma'am, boredom is the true tragedy. May you one day find challenge in combat. Stupid. No doubt picks up a giant two-armed bastard sword with almost no effort. Thou couldn't What is this? Excellent. Stage left. Thou What strength this janitor possessed? Who is he to pick up a bastard sword with two fingers? What hidden power does he hold? What secrets does he keep? I will endeavor to uncover his past in the hopes that our sword may cross in battle! That was just scene one, everybody. Scene two. The interior of the governor's house. The table is set with myriad teas and biscuits. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't even ask you for the feedback on the first scene. Did you like it? Uh huh. Oh, wonderful. I'll continue. Scene two. The governess enters from stage left. Governess. I refuse to respond to these absurd accusations. The husband looks at her quizzically. Governor. And what accusations may those be? Governor. Actually, you know what? I don't think I'm ready to get feedback on the play yet. But what about you? What are you up to? Tell Grandma Flexington all about it. I bet you've had some amazing adventures. Mr. Torg told me about the time you all played bunkers and badasses together. He said it was one of the most fun and welcoming experiences of his life. Grandpa! You're embarrassing me! Sorry, sweetie, but really, you and the Vault Hunters are his first real pals. It wasn't easy for Mr. Torg to make friends at school when he had facial hair at age eight, pecs at eight and a half, and dead parents by age nine. People found him intimidating, but I told him that he should be thankful for the fact that he looks different. Anyone who wouldn't be friends with you based on appearance wouldn't be a very good friend anyway. But he really does like hanging out with all of you. Most people these days want Torg to pose for pictures or blow something up by flexing at it. It's not often he gets to sit down and play games with people. Oh, speaking of games, did you play going back to the house yet? 
It's a new echo simulation about exploring a log cabin you lived in when you were a kid. There's no violence or anything. You just walk around looking at cereal boxes and remembering people you made out with. <laughs> I really like where Echo Sims have gone in the past few years, don't you? There seem to be a lot more of them with interesting things to do beyond shooting people. And the writing has gotten so tight inside. For instance, did you ever play the Samurai's Marker? The whole game's story was delivered through haiku. Did Zero write it or something? <laughs> <coughs> I know you're too busy for that. But oh yeah, I was playing at the end of the pointed gun last night on my Echo Sim player, and wow, is that fun. It's about a guy punches people and smacks himself in the face with doors. <laughs> Easily one of the best punch related comedy sims ever. But oh, I'm really looking forward to this game called Robot Hunter Assault Squadron, which is this big randomized survival game about throwing bottles at trees and accidentally scaring birds. In the demo version, I scared a bird so hard it died. 10 out of 10 in my book. Scared a bird so hard it died. You play any sports? You look like you might be into some of the more extreme stuff, like spine hurdling or psycho and volleyball. I knew an athlete a lot like you when I was younger. Her name was Nijo, and she was especially gifted at the giblet toss. That's an old pastime we had back when I was younger. Idea was you punch a con and then see how far you could make their viscera fly across a big field. You got points and bullets and string. Like I will eat your nephew. She won the final round of the giblet toss championship by getting a I love the like things they say when you're not doing anything. They said she was juicing with uranium, but I think they were just angry that she dethroned the reigning champ, misogynist Jeff. You all really liked him for some reason. Hey, what's your favorite food? My burger. Pizza. People look at you like you're a pleb or something when you say you like burgers. A pleb. Just think of all the things you can do with them. What you grandma says pleb. Tea, play around with the toppings, change what size you have. You ever have a burger with veggie chips? Gosh, I all but forgot about fries for about a year after I discovered the veggie chip combo. <laughs> and I'm not a vegetarian or anything. Those veggie patties they make on the more upper class worlds are crazy good. Better than real meat if you cook it right. <clears throat> Mr. Tord tried to be vegetarian once after he saw a fluff bear get run over by a truck. How long did you last again? 12 seconds! Barely even hey. finished the word vegetarian before he lunged at a skag shoe I was holding my left hand. <laughs> I he tried to be a vegetarian, vegetarian for 12 seconds. Skag bacon. Don't know why, since I always felt like skags tasted like old tires and vomit. But to each his own. Taste is a funny thing. People say your taste buds get more refined as time goes on, but they actually get worse and worse. So when Mr. Torg used to refuse vegetables as a kid, it's because he was actually tasting how awful they were. When we old folks eat vegetables, we're only okay with it because we can't taste all the gross vitamins. The pain goes here! My only escape. You get enough beef left in your system and you can head but a freight train without so much to bruise. My only that escape. Me, my Stop talking to me! I have one of those little milk containers yeah. split into yeah. different sections yeah. for each day. It's really helpful. And the size is sharp enough that I can use it to ward off my face if I need to. What else do I have to do? If I kill myself, I have to re-listen to this whole thing, by the way. Gotta bring my coat, though. It gets kind of chilly in the freezer section. What else do I have to do? Oh, I need Schwartzman's candy drops. Gosh, those are delicious. They're so smooth and sweet. Just thinking about them, I could go for one right now, couldn't you? Do you think you could go find me one? All right, let's go find some Schwartzman's candy drops. Ah, slice I need your some health, so you can watch the end. Thank you. Just beautiful misery. No big deal. I just literally no look, one shot a bunch of enemies. Get out! Get out! Get out! It's 
So did you guys enjoy the uh, grandma story? Because we're not done yet. We are very much not done yet. Mm. That's a Schwartzman candy drop. Grab it for me, will ya? Oh, I can taste lungs. it already. <laughs> Bastard. If you would have just Beautiful. been hit, you would have been spared a lot of pain. Stop screaming! There we go, full health. Oh, wonderful! Bring it back here and I'll finish my story. I missed a lot, okay? We're not gonna talk about it. Stabber jockeys! No, no, no! Cheapest spot in the house. Let's go, boys. Are you guys hoping for more content like this in Borderlands 3? Confusion! The most exciting content I possibly could provide you today. I swallowed your soul! No, Krieg, Krieg, we, we don't swallow souls, that's gay. I swallow them. I swallowed your veins! Yes. The missed shots are gonna come no matter what game it is. The stories, like, do you hope we get more sit down for 20 to 30, I think it's a total of about 20 to 30 minutes of grandma talking. No, bark, bark. First uh oh. Bark, bark. It's my stuff. <sighs> there is a Ratatouille uh, character in here, but apparently I missed them somehow. Thank you so much. I'll eat this later while sitting by the fireplace telling Mr. Torg stories of days gone by. There's just nothing like a good roaring fireplace, is there? Something healing and safe. Maybe that's why our family likes explosions so much. They're basically just big fireplaces. Every explosion feels just like coming home. Oh, maybe that'd be a good slogan for the Tor Corporation. Don't you think, High Five? Ah! Oh, don't be silly. It's a wonderful slogan and you know it. I used to come up with slogans for a living when I was in my teens. I came up with the jingle for Professor Gunsight's Can't Miss Scopes. How'd it go? Oh, yeah. If you try to shoot, but you miss a lot, then give Professor Gunsight scopes a shot. <laughs> and then they play the gunshot sound effect and someone going, ah. Ah. Gosh, I've been talking for a while now, haven't I? Thanks for bringing your friends to listen to an old woman ramble for a while. I can't tell you how great it is to have somebody new to talk to, especially a vault hunter. Oh, and one more thing. No, actually, that could be great. Just something that falls in the end of the universe. Anyway, here. I always spoil my friends. Just like I spoil my Oh boy, it's another shiny dollar. Oh, nope. Just a small little rocket launcher. Enjoy it. Conversation! 
Okay, we're done with Grandma. Lexington! Hope you all enjoyed Grandma Flexington's time. I mean, I could load up a new save and do it all again. Anybody want more Grandma Flexington? Obviously. You know, emotive, weren't you gonna try to get a couple more, uh, uh, emotes? You know, live up to your name, emotive, and get some more emotives? Your liver is a hood ornament. Okay. Ah, uh, fuck. Now I have to go all the way back up there. Pounds of flesh. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. I was like, the entire time I was over there, I'm like, this doesn't feel right. <sighs> Hell, the reason it didn't feel right is because it was not right. Ta-da! Who would have thunk? This is the actual way you wanted to go. I just tried to parkour my way there, which, you know, should have been the correct way, poisonally, but whatever. Control core angel is at the top of that mountain. That's where the vault key's being held. The slab king is up on the other cliff. He can help us get past the bunker outside the control core, hopefully. Intruder! We got an intruder! Intruder, huh? Like, <laughs> like I said, we're we're a little over leveled here, guys. Bitches. Be careful. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! Uh -oh. I'm an idiot. They gasp. I didn't get one because there is one other person who was able to gab one. Cha cha cha. Who are the lucky peoples? Snap your neck if you don't have one. Bum dun 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 Is that a bandit spooner with the robot? That is some artsy fartsy bull crap, my friend. Chicks love that! That's going in the poem. Robots and sexy stuff. Robots and sexy stuff. Here. You got the money, I'll save your golden life. You got a pride lion? Nice. Shut up. Don't forget, we gotta find a nudie mag. Don't run. Thankfully, I know where they are. I mean, 
Nudie mags? Where? <laughs> Worst case scenario, I still got something to pass the time. Well, boy, that bandit hung himself from his own tombstone. It's dark, it's depressing. I don't understand what I'm talking about. It's perfect. No, no, no. <laughs> it's going in the power. <laughs> Now, do you guys want to see another god lieth, or do you want me to fight? Alright guys, ready for the hardest, uh, a hardest quest in the world? Hold on. I gotta kill some people first. We gotta do the hardest mission in the game. It's gonna be up to you to decide if I'm being sarcastic or not. Ready for the hardest mission in this game? Oh right, that's what the creamer does. I forgot what it did. It splits apart. Beat me, face, face, face. Tired of waiting. No more waiting. Need a face shot. Boom! Squish! Yay! Shoot me in the face! In the face! Do it! Shoot me in the face! Face, 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 face! Now! Volunteer in the face! Want him! Need him! Gimme, gimme, gimme! At the sound of the bell, it will be face shooting o'clock! Bong! Knock, knock! Who's there? Shoot me in the face! End of joke! I'm gonna sing a song! Shoot me at the end of it! Da 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 da! Bong! I noticed you haven't shot me in the face! Curious as to why! Maybe you're weighing the moral pros and cons, but let me assure you that- OH MY GOD! Shoot me in the goddamn face! What are you waiting for?! Thank you! Thank you! Hardest mission in the game. Uh. Thank you! I noticed you have not shot me in the face! Welcome to but now it's time oh, for the real hell. initiation. Your son, Ripper! Oh. Oh. Today is the episode of not doing anything. Wait, where the fuck is he? Quit live so much. You better goddamn for me. Did I not aggro him at the right time? There we go. All right, now shit's gonna get done. So we're gonna let the badass Goliath become a god Goliath again. And yeah, shit's gonna go down. Super ultimate. All right, one more till he's a god life. You better 
Wait for me! Moves like that in you. Yeah, he was gonna die. <laughs> so I had to kill him myself. Ah, slice your eyelids so you can watch the end. Nope, I killed myself. That's the right time to sing that song, right? Where did all the avatars go? Um... I think... Uh... I think the stream... Twitch went down slightly, because, uh... It has a thing saying, welcome back to the chat. So, I think it went down, and it booted all the bots. So, only people who are actually active in the stream are currently showing up. Here, let me check. Yeah, a majority of the bots are gone now. I don't know exactly what would have happened now. Yeah, but I don't know if you were active. Yeah, see? Now that you're talking, you're back in. Which is nice. I'm kind of glad a lot of the bots are gone. So they weren't necessarily. Stop it, you annoying little fuckers. Unfortunately, I couldn't get another god life. Uh, it's not the end of the world. Get out, get out, get out! But, you know, whatever. You killed some of my best men to get to me. I only got one thing to say to you. That. That. Was. Awesome. awesome. So, what you want? So, what you want? Badass of all time, and you survived initiation. I'm proud to. Uh, Best character is just I'm about to show up. Roland would call in that favor. So, the buzzer. Now that you I don't want to spoil who it is yet. Go tell Roland I'm in. Great job. With Brick's crew on our side, we should have an easier time getting past the bunker and protecting Angel. So who's ready to see the second best character in this game? That door that'll only open for Jack. Let me get the door for you. You ready to see that second best character? It's the sarcastic slab. He's like, oh, you survived. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I just disintegrated him with a fastball. <laughs> like, his entire being just ceased to exist. 
Like, everything that he was is no more. I guess that's what cease to exist means, but you know what? Whatever. You can actually get up here during the fight. It's pretty easy, but you need to uh, be able to grenade jump, and alas, we cannot grenade jump as Craig. Ah, poor Craig. He cannot do the jumps. He does not have the hops. Nope. Nope. Alright. Follow Brick. Oh. So, the Vault Hunter met the slabs. What a lovely opportunity to kill two bandits with, with one, one mortar, mortar assault. assault. Targeting beacons initialized. Beginning mortar bombardment. Jake, he's using mortars again! He's using mortars! Oh, crap! Slab! We gotta stop those mortars or there won't be nobody left to help you with the bunker! Blowing shit up right now. His neck breaks when he wants to look at me. I'll let Brick handle that for a while. I got it. I got it. 
Get back here and I will not read it to you. Okay, well at least we took care of that. That mission's down and out. That was fun. Badass job today, Slab. I'll meet you back in Sanctuary. Oh. Just so you know, my slabs will probably still try to kill you because they're freaking idiots. Don't feel bad about killing them. I never do. <laughs> Don't feel bad about killing them. I never do. Alright. Back to Sanctuary. Shall we go hear what Scooter's poem is for his lady friend? Who wants to hear Scooter's amazingly detailed poem? Raise your hand. And if you raise your hand, you have to tell me because I can't see. Hopefully you've had your shots. Try not to die. You'll have to let me know if it really gets your juices going because that's the whole purpose of this poem is to get the lady's juices going. According to Scooty himself. All right, Scooter. I recorded my sweet nothings in my this here episode. Sweet nothings. Fine days in Playbird. Gotta wait for her reaction, though. You hear me? I got to know how it went. I got to know how it went. All right. How many people think Daisy's gonna love his sweet poem? This is Daisy, by the way. Y'all ready for this? Herein is Scooter's poem for you, Daisy. Here we go. Daisy, I like you a whole lot. More than that bandit likes spooning that robot. You are a diamond in the rough, or a flower surrounded by shrapnel and stuff. I will hang myself from my own tombstone, tombstone. If within you, you I, I cannot, cannot put, put my bone. Wow, this is really. Um, could you excuse me for a second? Thanks. Wait. So, what'd you think? I think she liked it. She liked it so much, she wanted it to be the last thoughts in her fucking mind. So she didn't dig the poem, huh? I, I don't know. I, I, thought, I thought it was pretty good. So she didn't dig the poems, huh? Yeah, I, I, I think just a small part of her had an issue with it. Just a small part. I think it was good, though. It, it was a good effort there, Captain. Anything good? My weapon machines will fix that for you. I feel a deep, dark form. Cool. Man, bad guy's a new one, huh? Wholesale hundred badass. You can actually probably upgrade our badass again. Maybe. Six more and I can upgrade our uh, bag capacity, though. Really what I want. Rolling. Brick. Never thought I'd be back here. Last time we talked, you didn't sound too eager to see me again. Time's changed. We need all the help we can get. Even from a bloodthirsty psychopath? Who called you that? Jack? No. You did. Three years ago. Oh. Sorry. It's good to have you back, Brick. Good to be back. 
good to be back. And kiss each other. <laughs> Seriously. Mm. To be honest, I got no idea how get to out, get out, get out, get out! Open for Jack. Sorry to interrupt, but we've little time. Get to the city of opportunity. To breach the final door to my chambers, you'll need to be Jack. That means passing a bioscan and speaking a password in his voice. If you can kill one of Jack's body doubles in opportunity, I can get you through that door. As much as I hate telling you to listen to her, Angel's the best lead we got. You already know not to trust her, but be careful. Guess you could say I'm literally running circles around you. Got something new for you. Jack's broadcasting a 24-hour stream of propaganda to every family in the six galaxies, telling them to immigrate to that big-ass city he's building. You're gonna show them what a bad idea that really is. Go borrow Moxie's camcorder. Hey, Slab. I'm gonna stay here in sanctuary for the long haul, but my Slab will need some stuff done back in Thousand Bucks. So go meet with Harko. He's a total tool, but at least he won't try to kill you. This is probably my favorite uh, combination. God, Grandma! I'll wear your stupid sweater for Christmas. God! You want my camera, huh? Guess where she pulls the camera from? Ten bucks. He says you can't guess. Better involve naked flesh or explosions. Bonus points for both. Mm -hmm. I've got it. Great. Take Jack destroyed my underdome after I dumped it. And now he wants to build his own arena just to rub it in my face. Ooh, not that happy, sugar. Get out to opportunity and kill the construction foreman who's running the project. Again, I still don't know if those are real or fake. I mean, they have literally no bounds, but then again, nothing in this game has bounds. Except for apparently my aim. <clears throat> I mean, she could store an entire city in those giant tits. So, let's be honest here. We could be here for a while. I'm just here to get a couple pieces of iridium, and we're good to go. But I'm getting nothing but stupid useless weapons. Oh, cool. I did not know I didn't have that skin. I thought I had all the skins from here, because I do nothing but play these when I'm bored. <laughs> Alright, two more. Two more pieces, two more pieces, do, do, do. I swear to God, I've gotten these before, but... God, Grandma. Oh, we could have gotten a legendary weapon if we had gotten all vault symbols. 
All right, guess we're only playing on one. Get out of my head! Close. Triple, 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 or just single. I don't really care. Great. Well. The pain, Marcus. Hey, do we go get the Bane? Do you guys want to go get one of the most powerful weapons in the game? The Bane, the cursed weapon? I knew I hadn't heard the last of that gun. I bought it off a guy a few months ago. Great gun, but it's cursed. I it's sold it to cursed. a bandit named Horus. So, do we go get the cursed gun? Or do we go to opportunity, or do we go to thousand cuts? Vote now. Thank you all for voting. I am going to now disregard anything you possibly could say in this game. And this is going to be regretful for you guys. You will regret scorning me by the end of the night. Yeah, we'll have the bane by then. You have scorned me for the last time. More meat for me. Keep the blood pouring. I got one this time. Oh, I'm curious to see what I got this time. Thank. <gasps> it appeared for once. Yay. Close that. The Black Queen. Drop your legendary. Fuck, it didn't. Cause of course, you know, the very small percent, why would it possibly drop it? Uh, I'll get the other two. Alright. What was I doing? Yes. I got... Pride Party! Pride Saba. Somebody delivered a feast. Yeah, don't forget because y'all didn't fucking answer, you're all gonna get cursed, and I'm gonna laugh at your pain. And yes, I meant pain. Bang. Bang. 
Ah. If you've literally not been paying attention, we're gonna go get uh, the Bane, the cursed weapon. Ow! Bang. Ow! Yeah, well, that's your own fault for not saying anything. I voted in nothing you say about the next nut for the rest of this evening is gonna matter. And you're gonna experience true. Bang. Ow! How can I even do what? Hit that deep base? I have no clue because I know for a fact as soon as I'm done with this stream, I'm gonna forget how to do it. <coughs> the But it tickles at the same time. <laughs> Rip the flesh, salt the wound. One legendary drop, can we get two more? Nope. Oh my god, that's two legendaries in a row. Hell yeah. Lucky demon. That literally reverberates through my entire fucking body. It feels weird. I need water though. Okay, but that was incredibly lucky, like I said. <sighs> Next, you guys get to see what release the beast is. Can you actually hear it when it starts to reverberate? <clears throat> ah, this here scooter. I get you where you need to go. I mean, I can feel it. <laughs> <gasps> Three sixty no scope, bitches. <clears throat> I always wish I had a deeper voice. How deep would that voice be, though? I don't know. Uh, that deep? Train won't stop. Release the Kraken. Uh, I know somebody who has an insanely deep voice. Like, he could probably be a goddamn, uh, old-fashioned movie guy. You know what I'm referring to when I say movie guy? Like, uh, the guy who would do, like, announcements, or, like, the trailer voice. He's got a fantastic trailer voice. Too bad he hates my guts. <clears throat>
Sorry, cat pictures. This is the sheriff. Well, he's not a friend. He's an acquaintance. Let Jack have his ivory towers. I came to Pandora for action. Every day, the sheriff of Lynchwood sends whatever iridium she's yanked from the mines back to Jack. That stops today. You're gonna blow up the train that she uses to transport the stuff. Get to the demolition depository. See you real soon, I'm sure. His name is Mr. Q, and he's got an insanely deep voice. Hmm. There are three things I want to do. One, fight the sheriff. Two, blow stuff up. And three, get paid. So going upon the sheriff's bank is basically the dream job. Go to the bank and case the joint. Damn. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Looks like the walls are made of polycrite, which only dissolves when exposed to skag bomb. I got an idea. We need a bomb covered in skag bomb. Now this ain't gonna make a lot of sense, but just bear with me. First, find some laxative. Now that you got the laxative, it's time to find some explosives. First, get some laxatives. Anyway, there should be a bandit around there named Mad Dog. Do you guys like poppies? Take him out and get his boots. Open your veins. Who likes poppies? Give the puppy medicine to Dakina. Do 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 no do I'm just gonna do it until I forget how. Which will probably not be that much longer. If you're hearing this kid out, please don't die right away. I've always wanted to duel a fall. Yeah. Uh, 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 u
It's kind of weird. That feels weird. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Feels weird. <laughs> Selling things. God, they're so inconsiderate. Don't they understand that when I'm busy, I'm busy and I'll play with them afterwards? God, they're like children. By the way, the person you're hearing talking, Nisha, is actually one of the playable characters from the pre-sequel. Fun fact. The pain. All right, who's excited to go see what the Bane's all about? Who's ready for me to get the cursed item? If you're excited, then you know what. Oh my god, I got another one! Oh, I got a flag! Is it for the correct genitals, though? Let's find out. This is a sheriff. If you are here, that means one of two things. You're looking for a nice, quiet life. Or I'm gonna watch you kick out your last hanging from one of my gallows. Close enough. <laughs> it's probably the closest I'm gonna get. <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I need that. That. $8,600. The Slab King, $25,000. Alive is preferable. But I'll take him dead if you've got sufficiently entertaining video evidence of the kill. <laughs> You have all the flags? Alright, Dukino, eat your doggy parts. Look how big he is. Look how big our puppy is. Did you see how cute and tiny he was? 
Oh god, look how tiny he is. Hello, Dokino boy. So we want to shoot these things in the mouth. This is the sheriff. Rumors that Lynchwood might be coming. Civilized as opportunity or not to be believed. <coughs> Let Jack have his ivory tower. I can't depend on him. I think it's just random to be honest. So, so let's start working on three, two, one, kaboom, or three, ten, kaboom. Oh, good. Your no elevator is here, sir. Excellent, Wendell. You can get a bomb card from that depository. I don't pick up money as I run over it, I always get sus. I had one of my slabs set up a detonator for the bomb cart. Get to it before the train leaves. Let me tell you something about that. We snagged him during the fall of New Haven. He never sold out his friends, but his puppy. It was this little brat. I also wrapped my hands around his neck. I lost it. I barely the Stop of the talking to me! Shut up! Oh, I got Mad Bombs legendary. Explosives, huh? That ought to be fun. Don't hit the detonator until it's right on top of the train. You can actually fail this. But I don't. No more iridium coming out of the train now, that's for sure. Let me know when you're ready for the next thing. Gotta say, that's pretty irritating. The iridium mines half the reason this town exists. Well, credit where credit's due. You really know how to push my buttons. I hear that after Brick escaped our custody, he tracked down the guy who tracked the guy who tried to Somebody named Shep Sanders. Brick gouged his eyes out with his thumbs and cracked his skull open like an egg. All while poor Shep screamed for mercy. Her friend Roland kicked him out of sanctuary after that. You all had to think you're different from bandits. But you're not. <laughs>
I got good aim at times. Alright, who's excited to see what the curse is in a minute? I play with only the Bane for the rest of the night? Yes or no? Only weapon I use. You gotta choose before I grab it. Though I might ignore your option anyway. Do we play with only the Bane? Yes, we do. You ready for the bay? I don't think you're ready for the bay. See the numbers, taste the violence. Oh. Alright, let's go! I'm running, by the way. We'll get there, I promise. Uh, let's see, it'd be faster to go this way. <laughs> Alright, we killed him, cool. Well, you guys said you wanted only the bay. Well, yeah, I'm literally running right now. I'm only going to use that weapon, but I want to do something today. <laughs> so... Look at that difference in speed, though. Hi, everybody. Swapping weapons! I'm sorry. Swapping weapons. The only exception is I can do that. I can do this. This is the only time I can fight without it. Also, I'm almost out of ammo, so I have to do this anyway.
So yeah, the bang. Do you see why it's cursed now? You can't move worth shit and you can't hide. I love it. And also by having it out when we switch, uh, all of his attacks are, uh, Yes! I got the glitch! Yes! Get him, boys. Get rid of If I could move at normal speed with the bane, I would only use the bane, to be honest. Excuse me. Especially if I could get one in every element. I think you deserve my best. Boys, get after him. Boys, now, get after him. You gotta stash that cast on the sheriff's boys won't ever stop looking for you. Find a good place to hide it and my boys will pick it up later. Don't worry. I'll pay you even more than what you got for the bank job once this is all over. Yeah. <laughs> I can technically just hide the money in front of these guys and they don't care. Oh, I have no grenades. No wonder I wasn't throwing them. Ah. You always did have a flair for the door. Maybe you'll see me when you escape my jail. Flew with Sky High, swore revenge for what Jack and I did to him. Said we turned him into a bandit the moment we killed his dog. The thing with you, I think, is gonna be more separate than us. I die or you do. Let me know when you're ready for the next job. <clears throat> All right, let's go feed Dukino. And we'll go, Bobby. That's a good boy. Over over here looks way too big. All right, Dukino, take me to your new home. Oh, is Kino actually waiting for me? 
Damn it, Kino. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Take me to church. No, I'm... Come on, Kino. I don't know why I don't even like it. <laughs> it's the only parts of the song I know, too. <laughs> Take me to church! You know That's it. To call this place? New New Haven. I love the guy. He doesn't exactly have a way with Who wants the first slice? <laughs> <laughs> Get out, get out, get out! I hate me! Ryan is my life. No, no, no! Doesn't even sound familiar. To be completely honest, I know literally nothing. I think I did it too fast and I broke Dukino. Because he's supposed to be down here. Whoops. I think I broke it. Rip. Yeah, I've literally been singing the only lines from that song I know, which is, Take Me to Church. By that one guy who's dating that yeah. one chick who's in that one TV show about karaoke. God, I'm good at this. So, got any more emotes to give us at all, uh, emotive? Hello, Dukino. Hello, Kino. Oh, look at Kyori Kino. Hi. I'll take that as a yes. God, no! Somehow, even though there's only three people in chat, I didn't get one. <gasps> That's my fucking luck. Fucking rip my dudes. Oh, well, I don't really care. Eh, it's random. I don't really care. I mean, I've gotten all the flags for everything that does not involve my genitals, so that's just my luck. Ah, uh, probably. And the thing is, supposedly you can make the bots go away. It doesn't always work. Go for the glory! It's rampage time! Get style the bot! Battle the bot! Oh. 
So we have to shoot the sheriff, but we cannot shoot the deputy. I'll show you what a badass is! Yate! Yate! She's dead. Did you actually just kill my girlfriend? Did you actually just kill my girlfriend? Huh. Huh. That's it then. Come on, man. Tick tock! Oh. Tick tock on the clock, baby. Something, something, something tonight. I'm a fight till we see the sun rise. Tick tock. Something, 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 something. I'm bad with lyrics. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow, wow. I'm done. Hey. I hate me! Hey. 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 Craig, I hate me too, but that doesn't mean you can just go around punching yourself in the face. Can't hear you. Uh. Uh. No. 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 By the way, we can go into super badass mode now too, so that's awesome. Uh. It involves a lot more murder and a lot more damage, and also it doesn't use up our. Uh... Oh, it does. Never mind. So we do 100% more damage. We're supposed to have the butt- oh, there it is. I was gonna say, we're supposed to have that immediately. So, Craig can kind of chain things together, assuming you can kill things quickly, and you're fine. I want it all! I want it all! I want it all! I want it all! And I want it now. All right, Rocco's Modern Strife. Raise your hand if you recognize that name. Who oh, here knows Rocco's Modern Strife? Emily, you should. You're my fucking age. Got some work for you. Hey, you dumbass vault hunter pal is here, brick. Shut up, Rocco. Shut up, Rocco. A Hyperion supply just landed in our turf instead of Jack's. Jack wants to destroy the supplies so we can't use them. Oh, that's better than nope. Never heard of it. Take Rocco's flags. <laughs> I just think it's funny that Rocco worked at a sex, uh, Rocco was a fucking, um, sex line attendant. Right? Yeah, Rocco, uh... He was a sex line operator. That was on the fucking Nickelodeon. Wasn't it Nickelodeon? No, Cartoon Network. I'm a fucking idiot. Cartoon Network. But still. Looking good. Now get up to the big ass turn on the central tower. Here they come, slab. Keep the bots away from the supply crate.
The game automatically breaks this turret, by the way. Unfortunate. RPG loaders, OMG! See, this would be a lot more dangerous if I wasn't, like, nine levels above everybody. You can't control me! I don't know the rest. I don't know any of the lyrics of any fucking song. Like, we need to go buy things. Okay. The only thing we can do now is to go here. Buy from me if you want to live. Buy from me if you want to live. Oh, there's a quest over there. I like questing. Da na 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 na. I know what this is. Da na 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 na. They want us to kill a hundred bandits. Da na na na. Um, gee, they're gonna give me a unique gun just for me. Does it blow up in my face? Cause like, oh my god, that would totally make sense. Uh, do I have like the valley girl accent down? I've got the speech pattern down where it's just, you know, they got that weird talking where they just kind of stop. Like, I, I I can't do it. <laughs> I was gonna try to combine the two. To breach the final door to my chambers, do you I need have to be Jack. That means passing a bio scan. Yeah, no, there's no way I can't. <laughs> I can't. So long as Jack's got those propagandastic statues of himself around opportunity, we can't truly win this war. I try. Blast those statues to bits. <laughs> Thirsty. If not, you also ought to know complaining about opportunity <laughs> clause is considered 
Verbal littering. <gasps> verbal littering. We'll do this later. Hey, you wanna know something I discovered only like last year that I didn't know about my all my other previous years of playing this game? I'll show you. Jack kept a souvenir. Do you wanna see the souvenir? There it is. He literally put Deadwing's bloody corpse as a fucking trophy. Do you know how cool it would have been if I was able to bat that away? Just like, now! Foreman is over here. The don't care about that. I know where that is. Those are over here. So several things I want is over here. Take that orbital supply beacon to the big crane past the waterfront corner. Once you call in a drop, the moonshot will just Cool! You found a constructor! Just boot him back up and he ought to treat you as an ally! You'll be like his mommy! His gun-toting, profanity-spewing mommy! Damn fucking right I'm profanity-spewing. Alright, we're gonna ignore that bot, because by doing that, we spawn enemies over here and it's able to do its job without us. There's the foreman. He dropped a key. Do a lady a favor. All right. Every key fits in the lock, sugar. Check the containers. See if that key opens one of them. Oh, I'll stick it in your locks, girl. Unlock those legs. That have already been unlocked by, like, almost everybody. <laughs> She's got the skeleton lock. A.K.A. every key unlocks her. Did you just call me a whore? Yes. Oh. Sounds like that key was just the right size. See if there's anything useful in there. If I know my explosives yeah. and oh, balloon tits is still holding a grudge against me. Balloon huh? tits. I mean, don't get me wrong. I get it. Once you've eaten prime rib for free, it's hard to go back to sucking down hamburgers for cash. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about? Dicks! I'm talking about dicks! Dicks! I'm talking about dicks! I didn't realize this thing had that much fucking health. Jesus Christ. I told you what would happen! I just gotta find some surveyor lures. Where are they? Uh, orbital drop, surveyor lures, okay. I'll head for that in a second as soon as we go drop this. Or as soon as we go blow up something. 
dicks. I'm talking about dicks. Get away from the explosive, sugar. They're gonna make a big boom. Hmm. I like to make big booms. I like them boom boom pow. You got out of your ship, Mike. <laughs> Haven't heard Jack that angry since I kicked his plastic surgery ass to the curb. I can't stop inside. Ah, mock you bitch. Hey, you know what book I'm reading there? It's called 101 Ways to Forcibly Make Vandals Eat Their Own Entrails. I'll let you borrow it sometime. No thanks. <laughs> I like my books to be PG about Minecraft. This is a PG Minecraft server. It's Catholic. All right, let's talk weapons, everybody. Well, weapon sales have skyrocketed since the opening of the vault. No, 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 no. I'm talking style. You look at our guns. What do they offer? Increased accuracy, stabilizers. Class, sweetheart. They offer class. You buy from those war hippies in Malawan the guns named like the fervent gospel or or the guileless provocateur, some pretentious crap. You get abandoned guns. Operation complete. <laughs> This is the right angle. I think it's right about. Damn it! I was off. I so wanted to get hit by that. Do you know how disappointed I am now? I want to hear you scream! <laughs> Get out of my head! I deserve it. Ah. <laughs> 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 you down. Clearly you're illiterate and the image of me enjoying a good book just makes your head hurt so awful. <laughs> it makes your head hurt so awful. Where's Jack's body double? There you are. Vault Hunter! Stop it's judging me! Hunter. It's the Vault Hunter! Sponge! Stop hitting yourself! The pocket watch device he dropped. It echoes his biosignature to every machine. Uh, I mean, that pocket watch also records audio. Jack loved to listen to the. Did you know that some people on this planet still believe in silly superstitions uh, like angels, demons, and ancient alien warriors? Uh, we like to call them bandits. We like to call them bandits. Do I have to listen to that again? Did you know that some people on this planet still believe in silly superstitions like angels, demons, and ancient alien warriors? We like to call them bandits. Yes, this is going to work. If I get a few more samples of Jack's voice, I can make a voice modulator for you. You need to get more voice in from the other info kiosks. The pain of many parts! Hey, kids! Did you know your 
chances of being disemboweled increase by 80,000% upon leaving opportunity. It's a scientific fact. I almost have what I need. Just activate a few more kiosks. It's a scientific fact. Yep, sorry, mate. Hey, kids, did you know what your mommies and daddies gave up so your family could live in opportunity? Literally, Literally nothing. nothing. Your family is paid to be here. I'm the one who feeds and protects everyone. Remember, we should all love our parents. But love me more. But love me more. What? Ow! Fuck! Did you know littering and opportunity is punishable by death? No god, but it also I know complaining about opportunity flaws is considered verbal littering. Ba 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 ba. Bum 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 I don't know why I'm making fun of that. I actually Those like Naruto. You can trick those surveyor bots to fly wherever you want. If you slap the lures on some giant propaganda, way. the surveyors should crash into them. Could be fun. Protect the bot, man! Uh. Uh. I nearly done with my ship, you jackass! Ba 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 ba. I'm so excited. I get weird out tomorrow. Hateful fire. Maybe not the fact that I like to play video games for a living, but they're still kind of proud of me. Question mark? You're doing good, keep cutting. Oh, 
I'm kind of disappointed. Yeah, no, go ahead. Knock that last one down. I've already got a great idea for a new statue. It's just going to be me kicking you in the junk. I'm going to commission like 15 of those son bitches and just put them everywhere. Now that you're done with that bot, it's time for some fun. You ever seen a constructor bot dance, minion? Because you're about to. Hit that other button to activate his dancing subroutines. Three, two, <laughs> dance one. time. Dance time. It will temporarily Still be free of jack statues. Forever! Alright, well, let's do this. And five years ago, Jack defeated the monster inside the vault. Triumphed him. Evil treasure seekers. And brought peace to that order. With that done, the handsome one stick in the Seven! Quiet! Stop hitting yourself! than a sucking chest wound! What's gonna end first? This song or or that or me getting over to the next one? What's gonna be done first? No, we're so slow. Has dedicated his life to bringing bandit scum to justice. There is only one word to describe what Jack. Did it break? It broke. Kill it. Restart it. I broke it. My bad. It happens sometimes. Just things don't wanna cooperate. Do 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 do.
Once again. Emotive, look at you go. What did I get this time? I got the regular pride flag. Yay. That ought to do it. Get to the co-opportunity outreach center. Broadcast. I didn't sign up for this. Ah. Nearly paid off. Nice. Are you kidding me? I have to redo that. It didn't count. Got uh, cause it didn't save. Oh, we get to listen to this again. In the beginning, Pandora was chaos. And then there was Jack. When Jack came to Pandora, he had a Play catch, kid. Catch! He missed. I am disappointed. Oh, yes. That went right by our heads. Do 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 do. Time to return the favor. 
Come on back and we'll steal ourselves a ball. This is a message to the Crimson Raider Resistance. Do you see that shining city on the horizon? That's what you're resisting. Beauty, purity, order. You think about that the next time you're sleeping in your own filth. Now, to broadcast the fruits of your hard work. Eyes open, boys. We're hearing reports of vault hunters. Your work's done. Doubt anyone will be in a hurry to move here now. That's supposed to, there we go. I was like, that's supposed to be showing us. Yeah. Alright, let's turn all these in and that'll be it for tonight. Tomorrow we will get to bunker. Or get to the bunker and everything. So, yeah. We'll have some fun coming up next time. Quite a few bosses. A lot of stuff. We'll get close to beating the main story. And then we'll be moving on from there. Nothing like a little vengeance to round out the day. Uh, we'll probably start with the Valentine's Day DLC, though. And then we'll do the rest of the- most of the game. And then... I'm trying to think. Hold on. Robots that can't dance? You've earned it! That's what I'm talking about! High five and claptrap. That's an achievement. I've had it, but that's an achievement. This isn't a discussion. You're not going without me. Period. period. Look, I need you here protecting Sanctuary. If this turns out to be a trap, I need you to keep these people safe. Is this because Angel told me not to come? It is, isn't it? Lilith, damn it, would you just trust me, okay? If you get killed, I'm gonna be really pissed. Noted. If you live, I'm tearing those clothes right off your body. Huh? Huh? Well, aren't you a lucky boy? This is it, everybody. Lilith, aren't Mordecai, you a lucky you're protecting boy. the city. Rick will provide air support from Thousand Cuts, and I'll climb up to Control Core Angel from the cliff face. Any questions? Yeah, why ain't I going? I gotta pay Hyperion back for Bloodwing. And you will, but for now, I need you protecting Sanctuary in case this is just another trap. You'll get your payback, Mordecai. I promise. Long as you say so, Roland. Vault Hunter, we have a shot at stealing the Vault Key and stopping Jack from waking the Warrior. All you have to do is get past a force field that'll atomize you, destroy a bunker carrying enough firepower to level a continent, and get through a door you can't possibly open. That's his way of saying we're probably gonna die. It's yep. time to get Claptrap to Thousand Cuts. We need him to shut down the force field. Make it painful, guys. This is gonna be fun! <laughs> nice. Okay. Hey, Slab. Haste. You can never be too well armed. Oh.
Yeah, fuck it. You know what? I'm just gonna sell some of these things. I'm not gonna use them. Um, I'm gonna use that. I'm not gonna use that. I'm not gonna use that. I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna keep the legendaries. I'm just gonna get rid of the rest. Cause I don't really care. Just a hell of a lot easier on me. Now, just to make sure I didn't accidentally sell. Yeah, I did. I knew it. I Fucking knew stuck. it. Oh, oh, right, everybody. That's gonna have to be it for now. We will continue this again on Thursday night. Do not forget, we are going to be doing no stream tomorrow, but there will be an extra stream on Thursday. So keep your eye out for that. That's going to be it for today. I hope you all enjoyed. And until the next time, everybody. A stiff people.